We definitely need to use this furniture in the future. God, that was awful. We almost died. <laughs> okay, let's let's give him that. Except, we only need we don't really need that much more. Well, that's not true. We need a hundred and seventy more to get the weapon parts. But it'd be great if we could get the weapon parts because worth eighty. Which is 120. Wow. Yeah, let's trade that. Why not? 360. So now all we need, we need 90. We only need 90 more. So tomorrow, if we survive one more night, we should be able to get it. This handgun frame. God, that was brutal. I don't know where our knife went. Maybe we broke it? That's... Distinctly possible. Okay. Uh, let's put our metal up. We're gonna need to go exploring to build more... More stuff. Make a Molotov cocktail. Uh, we need to remember to use our endurance perk. We need to remember to do that. Let's take this with us and make more more boards. Ah, uh, no, we we just kidding. We have boards and a flashlight. Uh, let's keep the antidote to the poison in case we get badly poisoned. And yeah, let's um, let's try and make our way. Trying to make our way up to Pietrix's house in the wolf. Or at least start going in that direction. Oh, shiny stone. There are so many damn savages and large dogs around. Let's put this shiny stone up. Damn, I wish we'd found that like 10 seconds earlier. We're gonna drag this. We're gonna drag this all the way around. It's in here. This way it'll be there tomorrow when we, or tonight when we need it.
Oh, oh shit. Okay, yep. Okay. That combat is super tense. Alright, let's heal up before we go back out. Jesus, dude. Awful! <laughs> Especially since we only have one life and we're about to have to start all over again. Really, the savages aren't too bad. It's the dogs that are super problematic because you can't dodge them. So if you're low on endurance, they just destroy you. Because you can't get it in attacks repeatedly. Or if you whiff a couple attacks in a row, it's really, it gets really awful. Should be the silo, yeah. Oh, okay, we can get it through this side. I hear some cookable mushrooms. Whoops, an old headless mannequin, no way! I love the music it plays in here, and it plays it for like literally no reason, I don't understand. It's so strange. Ah, oh, let's harvest those. Nice. Got it. Nice crate in the middle of a silo. Someone was living in here for a while, it seems. Definitely want to take the metal and cook the dead rat, and we'll take the thing. We can make a lockpick out of it if we need to. <laughs> I just heard something. You know, we don't have our staff on us, even though our knife broke. We're gonna need to be careful. You know what, I bet we can repair this flashlight by putting AAA batteries in it. Or whatever the batteries are. Which we have quite a few of. This guy will explode if we're not careful. Check our location. Silos, we need to go up. Oh. Damn it! I literally just said that and then we go and do that. We just stepped directly on him. I like how they have the... Lost my concentration for a minute. Let's, um. There are some more dogs up here, so let's heal up. Make with one of you. In case we need to heal up again. Dog right there. We should be able to avoid this one, though. Oh, there's a savage. Trying, we're gonna try to avoid all the enemies we can right now instead of fighting them because Because the our, our weapon is about to break actually which is something we don't want to happen All right, let's keep going We should be right on top of Pia's house, almost. Yeah, okay, there we go. I don't know if Pia's house is a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, this is really well defended, whatever it is. We need to be really, really careful here. 
I thought we made another... I hear a dog. And I don't think it's the giant dog, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we're at... We're at Pia's house. Nice, we got some pills that'll fast heal us if we really need to, and another Molotov cocktail, which is very important for us to have. And we have a fabric so we can increase our inventory size next night that we survive. Really good. There's a heavy smell of gasoline in the air. Now it's a hollow, rusty body. So these are those poisonous things that we had to destroy earlier. Take the alcohol, definitely take the gasoline. Actually, let's, let's dump that one. We don't have a torch. We can't craft a torch, so we're going to throw a Molotov cocktail. Uh, let's actually craft a torch out of... What do we not have? Oh, we don't have a board. Yeah, let's just throw a Molotov cocktail at it. Oops. Nice. Oh, I actually got the other side as well. Very cool. Oh, shit! Harvest these mushrooms. Something's going on here. Like they're playing the weird music. And the toolbox. We have so we're getting so many good things. A blueprint for a rocket. <laughs> All right. Something is definitely really important about the area we're in. The walls are covered with fungus and spider webs. A scrap metal warehouse. I smell rosin. Postcard with a portrait of a man. Nebo. Jo oh, that's in a different language. Definitely want to take the tape. We'll drop the rats for it. And we have plenty of batteries right now. It's a really defensible area. Oh, let's... Oh, there's Beatrek! Woo, she is crazy looking! Oops, I didn't see you come in. The boy's eyes are, oh, he, are wandering around the room. I found this wiggly metal thing yesterday. It was laying there in the grass. I don't like grass. It's so slippery and it tickles your feet. Rather than grass, I would prefer these metal wigglies. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's so crazy. The metal antennas on his wiry hat suddenly start vibrating. Do you, do you have any metal wigglies? Postcard, but the portrait, we're gonna show him these items. Oh, I have one too. It's such a beautiful photograph. I had one just like this. I melted it into a perfect little ball shaped like the moon. I melt everything plastic into moons. Beatrix suddenly becomes excited. And, have you seen my vehicle? It's ready. Well, almost ready. Just a couple parts missing. I will need to find them, and I will have to repair the casing. The one from the spring that fell off recently. When I was entering the cockpit, I hit my head, and it fell off. I thought I was flying, but it was just that the lights went off. Okay. 
These are the blueprints for my space rocket, almost ready. I broke down a whole tractor to build it, but I'm missing several parts, several very important parts. For example, a shiny little mirror and this rectangular box with wires in. The boy suddenly becomes lost in thought. If only I had more tractors, I would definitely go to space. What? But the road. It won't be able to make it home via this road. You should build a rocket. Okay, cool. Oh, so we can we can trade him things. The thing is though, we don't actually need this toolbox. Because we already upgraded our thing twice. Uh, so, so yeah. However, we, if we survive another night, we can trade it to the to our dude, to the traveler, or to the trader, or whatever his name is, for for a hundred, which would be something quite significant. And we'd be able to get the pistol. Although I don't know if we need to forge our own bullets for it or how it works. So. Map of the old woods. A piece of paper with two locations marked on it. Cable. Yeah, he doesn't really have anything we need desperately. Awesome. I haven't slept a wink today. The whole night I thought about the large metal cover from the tractor. It's such a beautiful cover, ideal cover. No doubts about that. I mean, almost, because I, I would need to bend it a bit with a screwdriver and it will shield me from the space dust that is. Oh, that'd be cool. We could get the cover from the tractor and shield ourselves with it, maybe. I like to watch the stars at night. Sometimes you can see these bright blinking spots. Those are spaceships and rockets, obviously. The sky is awfully boring during the day. No stars, no ships, no rockets, nothing. Only these white smoke trails. I saw one yesterday. Over there, far above the treetops. Dad used to say the, that these were planes. But such long planes it would be crazy to fly them. <laughs> oh, poor crazy Pietrek. Okay, um... It's starting to get really late. We might have to try and survive the night here. No, we can probably make it back. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably be fine. Let's go back. We just walk over to the road. We can take the road almost. We can take the road all the way home. All right here's the road. Oh, that music ended very abruptly. Oh, because we got away from Piatrix, that's why. Oh, it's a rabbit. Don't want to step on him, he's poisonous. Not the rabbit, obviously, but... Alright, that's the silo. Means we're right here. And if we just run straight from here, we'll run directly into our house. Hopefully no animals. Or savages, that for that matter. Kinda of open now that we've killed one of the savages, they won't respawn. But I think that's probably a faint hope. Okay. Just the day savages. Obviously the night savages will respawn.
Oh, actually, we need to... We need to walk through here. Okay. Alcohol, we can throw with the rest of our alcohol. Uh, wire, we can throw with that. We can make another lockpick that we can keep on us. Tape. Throw with that. Toolbox. Yeah, so we... We can make two traps. We really just need to up. We need to upgrade our workshop to get. Hmm. Oh, we can upgrade our inventory again. Nice. Let's definitely do that. Very cool. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and cook these mushrooms before they start rotting anymore. Need 800 more essence to upgrade again. That's crazy looking. Crazy! Hold on to that. Put our toolbox up. We can sell that to the traveler. Take some wood. Let's cut six more logs. Nice. Alright, that just kind of replenishes our stock a little bit. Um, and we can use it to board up these things tonight. Yeah, if we are able to survive this night, we'll be able to... ...buy the pistol, though I'm not sure if we have any ammunition for it, so that's... ...that is questionable. We have three Molotov cocktails, we have our board- oh, we should fix the board. All right, let's go ahead and go turn on the generator. And make two bear traps. So let's make, let's make two more chain, let's make two chain traps instead of two more bear traps. Ah, uh, damn, we should have made the bear trap. Oops! Oh shit, somehow this got unbarricaded. How did that happen? It's kind of weird. Oh, maybe they stepped on the chain trap when they were in here? That's very possible. It is getting really late. Okay, let's barricade you.
Let's barricade you. Uh. All right, whichever one they start breaking down, we're going to. Put the train trap in front of. Pretty much. Then, whenever they start breaking in, we're gonna throw this at the door. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this game tonight. <laughs> more, even more than I have in past nights. We almost made it to the wolf. We went to Pia checks before we had to come back. So now we can just boom, boom, go straight to the wolf. There's something right there. Possibly some mushrooms that grew. There's definitely a savage out there walking around. Okay, so they're going to put one of my lights out. Probably this one right here. Oh, they put this one out. Nice. Okay, that's fine. Sorry. Not too bad. Cool. I think possibly since we killed off a lot of the savages around here, maybe they're not breaking in as much at night. That would be really nice. We stay, managed to stay alive, so that's pretty cool. Alright. Show item? Can't show them anymore. Okay, trade. 